What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Planet episode 11. Uh, we're finally over the 10 episode mark. Hooray! Thank you so much for carrying on the way through with me. It's been a really fun show to get into. Um, very strange with the whole, you know, the like I said, saw someone said in the comments, the supernatural uh, part of of this show. Sorry, my beard is all all over the place. I gotta take a shower, but I'm I can't be bothered right now. So just just live with this fucking scraggy looking beard, homeless guy. Uh, it's fine. Yes. Um. So the supernatural part. Difficult to theorize about, but for now my my theory stands on it being a Gisa, um, being sick. That's like the whole thing around that. And I don't know where they're going with it. If they're actually like pulling out a card where. Is she gonna be terminally ill? Is this is this a thing that's gonna like affect her future? Is this a thing that's gonna happen every year? Uh, is this gonna affect her new school year? Uh, I don't know. At least Tomoya has done some good work and actually got a job. Uh, he's working together with uh, Fuko's sister's husband. I forget their names because they're not mentioned that often. So, anyway, uh, let's get into episode eleven. I gotta. I gotta really turn off the fan, but it's so hot in here. I can't do that. Anyway, let's go. Okay. Oh, you're still here. Oh, sweetie. Thank you for showing up today, too. Damn. All business for these guys. Yeah, this is dangerous work. Not only are you high up in the air, but you're also working with highly electric, electric, electric stuff. Are you just never home anymore? Oh. God, she's like already like a housewife for him. I bet the days are very long. I know the days are very long for Japanese workers. Yeah. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, yes. My boy's got his priorities right. Oh no, you don't have any friends? What? How would you not be friends with this sweetheart? <laughs> you forgot something again. <sighs> Face palm. <laughs> oh, because of his shoulder? No, <laughs> he's your only like way out of your stuff. Oh. So that's why he doesn't want to tell them. Yoshino. I don't think that's the case, but you know, you never know. <clears throat> I feel like they'd be more leaning towards you if you stay there for a long time. Oh my god, can you guys hug or something? Oh. Why don't you move over? Sorry. <laughs> She's gonna worry either way. She's got so much else to think about too. The school thing. Isn't at least Tomoyo hanging out with her in school? Huh. Hello. Oh damn. 
<laughs> I was just gonna say, you're gonna be surprised to see how different he is. He's got a job too. Oh, yeah. Has anyone seen him lately? Yeah. I'm sure she worries a lot about school stuff since she's not really hitting the, as many things as she did last time. <laughs> Adult entertainment? What does that mean? Um. Toy store? What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, you're a. Fucking Star Wars fan, I see. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just a. You're just me. Oh, that's a damage. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good entertainment. I like to play around with shit too. But that old guy. Oh. Realize lizard? Oh, it's just a okay. Good, gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> so this is this is why he's sneaking off to get weird props. <laughs> I hate that. Oh my god! That is... She is strong! <laughs> oh, thank god. Oh my god, she runs faster than the speed of sound! Aww. That's my boy. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> good thing you have a fresh student on your hands. He's doing good at his new job. Oh, you're getting bigger. Hey, you about to get a promotion, my boy? Oh wait, does that mean... Oh no... She's not reacting. Yeah, but you don't though. I'm sure she's taking it harder than she's letting on. Uh, you're talking a language that I don't speak. <laughs> but I'm glad you're understanding. <laughs> uh, uh, is he just testing you in your language? He's doing it with his shoulder again. He's gonna notice. He's gonna face palm. Wait, is he? Is this actually gonna be a problem? Oh, he's noticing. So, yeah, like, it's it's no problem. Just 
Just look past it. It's not a big deal. Oh. He's thinking too much about it. Poor guy. Poor Nagis and poor Tomoya. They have so much on their minds and they just want to make things right with each other. This is such a realistic relationship problem thing. And people over often overlook this as just like moving in as the paradise come true. It's not. Okay. Oh, she just wants to check up on you and he's... Damn, you're doing well. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Something's not gonna go right and it's gonna be even more chaotic. Oh, he's gonna get a call and he's gonna come into work, isn't he? <sighs> Huh? But was it? Damn. Stop being so mature right now. No, wait. Oh, are you waiting in... This is so fucking stupid. I, the show is not stupid. Sorry. Oh. Like I said, it's so realistic to how relationship problems can really cause you to lose your mind. And it's exactly like this, too. It'll make you go insane because you want to be there for them, but you're too busy to do it. And you did. Yeah. I don't know what he did wrong, but he probably know. Yeah. So <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Come on, you gotta figure out a way to make this work for you, girl. Don't give up! I'm so weird. <laughs> Don't do this in a situation, please. Oh, you got your name properly in engraved. <sighs> okay, it's it's going well. <laughs> it's going well. Uh, it's going really well for Tomoya. And that's about it. <laughs> it is going very well for Tomoya in terms of him uh, introducing himself to adult life. He's already got a job. He's doing really well. Uh, he's learning the ropes very fast, very fast, and he's actually paying attention to the ropes. <laughs> Which uh, is probably gaining him a lot of um, confidence in his work and a lot of credibility for his peers. You know, and that's all good and, and said and done. <laughs> but then you have Nagisa, which I am extremely worried about. She's sick. Well, she, she was sick. Uh, she's struggling with making friends like, like she did before she even met Tomoya. Uh, she's not having a lot of time with her boyfriend, which is probably her only, like, downtime from all the shit she's worrying about. <sighs> and this stuff is making me worried.
because like i said this is very realistic to how real relationships work and you think it's all like oh if you move in with your loved one it's going to be a fucking breeze because it's going to be so much fun but if you end up in a situation like this where they go to school and you do work obviously in japan the work days are very long very long and very exhausting i don't know why but that's how they do it uh like eight to like 12 hour works or something like that i don't know exactly but it, i know they're long especially the office workers um yeah uh and they the other one goes to school and you do work and you don't have a lot of time to just even like spend time together and they don't even live together so they don't even get to like share the same bed and talk about stuff while they're in, in the bed which is a big part of a relationship and uh, it's just not going that well for them too and i hope that, it, that he can find a way to make this work like they were saying they the the friends at work will cover his shifts if he needs to so let's hope they can make that happen anyway thanks for watching i'll see you in episode 12 Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.